was a disease that I had never heard of before, and I didn't know anyone who had it either, of course. Almost everyone knows what asthma is, but to explain bronchiectasis isn't that easy. So I normally never do that. I always say I have a lung disease. I manage pretty well, uh, well, fairly well, my bronchiectasis until I was 20 years old. Then I got colonized by Pseudomona. It was a turn up, uh, upside down uh, my life. I found having bronchiectasis quite lonely because there's not many of us out there, certainly not that I know of. I discovered my bronchiectasis in 2015 and since then I had been searching for other patients like me to share experiences with. It was really difficult to find a lung physician who had a real knowledge about bronchiectasis. Um, when I finally found it, he introduced me to ELF and when I literally stumbled across the ELF online one day, I couldn't believe that there was actually people out there who were not only looking into it and researching it, but cared what I thought about uh, my condition. I joined the ELF patient advisory group in 2016 because I realised that bronchiectasis treatment had barely improved since I was a child in the 1960s. I'm a journalist and I wanted to help raise the profile of this condition that had been neglected and overlooked for, for decades. I wasn't the only one going through this and I wanted uh, some information and some support, but I found none. Uh, there was none. So talking about this with my pulmonologist, um, uh, she uh, asked me if I wanted to be an advisor because she was part of Embark. They were currently having a, a joint task force between physicians and patients, and they were producing the ERS guidelines uh, on managing adult bronchiectasis. So I said yes. They were truly interested in what we have to say as patients because they, they did recognize that they know the science of it all, but uh, it's patients that live with bronchiectasis each day. To finally meet people who have the same disease as you have, uh, facing the same issues you have, uh, talking to them, uh, gives you uh, a lot of support. I suppose the first thing I got involved in would have been answering surveys and it was amazing to see questions asking me how I felt about my exacerbations, my condition, my treatment. Um, and I, I remember regaling my family with great excitement at the fact that this organization existed. Since joining ELF, I have managed to attend lots of the European Respiratory Conferences, which has been very good in seeing what's happening with the future. And with the future, we can have an influence on it. And we've also been spreading the word through the websites, uh, through published articles, and I'm fortunate enough to be involved in writing four published articles. In the last years, uh, with Embark activities, we have released the RSS guidelines uh, on management adult bronchiectasis, but also we have released bronchiectasis website, which was overviewed and is continuing being overviewed by patients and it's plain language information for patients and for carers. We also have produced uh, and been involved as collaborators in uh, published articles and in conferences. It was really interesting to be part of the organizing committee for the first bronchiectasis patients conference at the end of February. We listed the main questions we would like answered by experts in the field, arranged them into topic areas and requested speakers. The response from clinicians and researchers all over Europe who wanted to speak to patients was hugely gratifying. More than 800 people attended and they asked nearly 500 questions. It's a measure of the huge demand for information and how much we want to understand the condition so that we can manage it better in partnership with our clinicians. My hopes for the future um, with Embark are that uh, we will have more awareness, 
uh, we are doing a great job uh, on research because they are doing research based on patients' priorities because they launch in surveys to know what we need. And I think uh, this is going to keep growing.